in the name of allah the most gracious the most merciful good morning have a nice day and welcome to asmara javed learning channel if you haven't subscribed my channel you can do it now let's work on english ahead workbook unit 2 clean and green page number 20 we are working on writing skill part 2 and the objective is to enhance writing skill by practice on recount writing let's start first of all we need to know the meaning of recount writing we use recount writing to retell events and describe things that have happened in the past and account writing refers to an account in which subject may or may not be included. Account writing is done in order to provide the reader the order in which the things had happened. What is the difference between recount writing and account writing? The main difference is that in recount writing we describe our feelings whereas in account writing we describe the facts and order. And the purpose of a recount is to list and describe past experience. What are the types of recount writing? Letters, diary, newspaper article, biography, sports report, trip report, magazine article. These are the types of recount writing. Let's learn how to write a personal recount. In paragraph number 1, we give introduction. We introduce the event or the day, where did it happen, when did it happen and who was involved. Then you will write what did you do before the event and about your feelings. What happened during the event and then you will write about your feelings. What happened after the event and about your feelings. It's all about your personal recount. Let's come to know about the words that can be used in recount writing. These are called transition words. First, next, after that, finally, suddenly, eventually, soon, immediately, meanwhile, sometimes, often, earlier, later on, while, afterwards, simultaneously, also. These are the words that can be used in recount writing. Let's read our recount and its topic is a visit. I went to the Tiki Tiki restaurant for my mom's birthday. It was a special place because it was decorated like Hawaii. First, I got fruit juice in a real pineapple cup. It was delicious. Next, I tried a lot of Hawaiian foods from the huge buffet. I liked the pullet pork, the purple potatoes and the rice. Finally, there was a show with a hula and fire dancers. It was so exciting. I was a little afraid of the fire dancers. I had a great time at the Tiki Tiki restaurant. I hope I can go there again. Students, just check the transition words used by the writer in this account writing like first, then and finally. Students, let's read some points to keep remember in recount writing. If I am assigned to write a recount, I'll keep these points in my mind. For example, I'll include details, I'll include my senses in my description, I'll write clear sentences, I'll convey my feelings in my writing, and I'll give all the details in a sequence. It's an other recount for you, a trip to the zoo, you can read it. Please open your workbooks at page number 20 and the topic is what a day. If you haven't subscribed my channel, you can subscribe it now. Okay, what can you see? There is a beautiful girl who is performing something on a stage. You can look at the picture. And there are some phrases on the same page. For example, I waited backstage, I practiced again, it was my turn, it was time to leave, I was going to the audience and I felt very tired. 
and there is exercise number 1 complete the personal recount of wendy's special day with the phrases a to f you will read the recount and complete it you will write it in your workbook then exercise number 2 answer these questions you will read these questions and answer in your workbook then exercise number 3 it's very helpful in your own recount writing if you write the answers to the questions given in the table you can easily write your own recount think of the time when you took part in a special event copy the table and make notes about the event for example in first paragraph there are three questions what was the special event where and when did it happen and who was involved if you write these answers one by one your recount writing will be written step by step and automatically according to the structure so exercise number 4 personal recount writing is your homework you can do it on a computer page or a4 sheet thank you allah hafiz and take care